Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Is there something on this? And then there, I wouldn't recommend licking your lens at home, but... <gasps> I think I might have I made that worse. Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Kate Arnell. This is EcoBoost. And today I thought we could do a little unboxing, but you know, zero waste style. So as well as lots of amazing bulk offerings cropping up around London and across the UK actually, it's super exciting to see little announcements on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook about more and more zero waste style bulk shops cropping up across the country. Britain, what's happened? It's brilliant. There are also several online shops now available um, that are selling zero waste groceries. So for today's video, I have ordered some basic staples from three of the main online shops that I know of, and I'm gonna do a little sort of unboxing and a sharing of my experience, because isn't that what YouTube's about? Just sharing and unboxing, mostly unboxing. Let's kick off with Zero Waste Club, and this is the parcel I received from them. I really like that they've got paper tape on the box, and they've definitely upcycled one of the boxes from one of their suppliers. So, I feel like I should have gotten some scissors for this. Oh, I've got a knife over there. Bear with. So before I hack into this, actually, with my slightly obscure looking knife. Um, Zero Waste Club originally start started out selling toothbrushes with replaceable heads. So it's a bamboo toothbrush, but you can just change only the head instead of the whole thing, which is kind of cool. And then they recently branched out into selling dry goods and other personal care products. And hopefully in the future, they'll sell things like cleaning products and stuff soon. So they're very open to suggestions from their customers, which I really like. And I have to say, they definitely have have the prettiest looking website. It's really nice. I'm pretty sure that almost everything on their site is organic as well, which I was super happy about. This could get ugly. Okay, I kind of get the unboxing thing now. It's weirdly therapeutic. Okay, all right, so there you go. That's what it looks like inside. I actually can't remember what I ordered from them, so I'll be as surprised as you are when I open these bags. Oh, so we've got a kilogram of oats. I love how everything comes in just paper bags, which could be recycled or added to the compost. Or reused, of course. Kilogram of spaghetti. What is that? Ah, short grain rice. What a great noise. And finally, a kilo of deluxe muesli because I just fancied having a bit of a fancy way to start the day. And there you go, no other packaging inside, just the paper bags and a repurposed box and some brown paper tape. So I found the whole ordering process on Zero Waste Club really straightforward. The website's very easy to use. The prices were really good and they just have a set fee for delivery. So whatever you're ordering, it'll just be a set fee, which I think was 3 dollars Yeah, 3 dollars flat rate, got that right. Go memory. Um, so yeah, they send out the parcels every Wednesday, so I guess that's something to factor in. If you want something the next day and you're ordering on a Thursday, then you will have to wait until the following week. But they are a really new business and I'm pretty sure that that will change. Um, the more that they grow, the bigger that they become, the more customers they get. I received an order confirmation and then I received a text message and an email to say when my parcel was gonna be delivered. And it was a really nice specific time slot like within the space of an hour so I didn't have to sit in all day and there's also an option to ask them to leave it with your neighbor or in a safe space so yeah I was very pleased with the whole service I feel like I should open up one of these bags so you can see let's take a look at this deluxe muesli shall we oh it smells nice Can you see Currently Zero Waste Club can ship all over the UK and to Europe as well for all food items. Uh, shipping to Europe obviously has a different cost because it is more expensive. Um, and then for all of their non-food items, so things like personal care, beauty 
products, whatever you want to call them, toothbrushes, soaps and things, um, then they can go worldwide. So next up I'm going to talk about a London based zero waste grocery delivery service called Reusable. So these guys currently deliver to zones 1 to 3 in London and then the occasional postcode outside of zone 3. Um, so what they recommend is checking through their list of postcodes that they deliver to and if you don't see yours on there then contact them because there might actually be something that they can do. It's slightly different in that they actually bring it to your door by hand, it's not a delivery man, it's a guy from Reusable. So as well as delivery they also offer a few collection points as well throughout London. So here's what I ordered, this bag of whole wheat pasta and organic brown basmati rice. So organic pasta and organic rice in these two bags. Now just as a little experiment I ordered one with a jar which is one of the options and the other one without a jar just to see how they arrived um, because I don't think I was quite clear like I thought if you ordered something in a jar it would turn up in a jar but no no it turns up with a jar. I ordered the pasta with a jar and then the rice without a jar but they basically both come in brown paper bags so if you've already got enough jars at home or containers to reuse or however you want to store your dry goods then I would recommend going without a jar but actually as it turns out I do need a couple more of these jars so it worked out pretty well. When you're placing your order at the checkout you need to give them a couple of options for delivery time slots. So I said either any time on Thursday because I knew I was going to be home or any time on like the following Monday afternoon just to give them a backup date in case they can do the Thursday. Um, and then I think it was within a couple of hours I got an, an email saying great we will be able to deliver on Thursday at this time and again it was a very specific time slot I think it was within the space of an hour. I just made sure I was home for that time and they were very prompt, they were on time. The delivery charge was only £2 which was really good and if you spend over £15 on groceries for example then you get free delivery so I think that's really good and it was really nice, just a nice service to have someone turn above my door and like hand over like purchases. They also have a small selection of cleaning products as well, so things like washing up liquid or dishwasher gel, and they also have a shampoo as well. Okay, let's open this is the pasta. I'll be honest, I feel a little fuzzily showing you the inside of a paper bag, but pasta, pasta, pasta. I like pasta. And then the final shop I ordered from was Plastic Free Pantry. Let's check them out. This is the box that it came in. So it's brown paper tape again, so no plastic tape. Hurrah! Um, let's use my... <laughs> I want to say like medieval knife, but it's not a medieval knife. That would be lying to you. Right, let's do this. Oh, that's cute. I've got a smiley face in my order form. There you go. So this one definitely comes with a little bit more kind of packaging, but it's just basically shreds of paper. Yeah. Still paper. Ah, interesting. Even though some of this looks like plastic, I read on their website that it's all home compostable film. I shouldn't be alarmed, that's not plastic. On the Plastic Free Pantry website on their section about packaging, it says, our product packaging depends on the item and the pack size, but it's never plastic. We use recycled paper bags, glass jars, and Nature Flex bags, which are made from plants and break down completely in home compost in 12 to 16 weeks. Ah, okay, so I recently watched a video about Nature Flex and it's made from wood pulp and there are a couple of videos online, I will link them in the info box below in case you want to see it decompose, but basically it does, if you put it in a worm bin for example, it, it will completely decompose. They also say if you don't have a compost heap, you might want to put it in with your food scrap bin if your council offers a food waste collection. Sadly I don't have that in my area, but I know that my brother, my mum and my mother-in-law all have a food waste collection, lucky them, um, and you can also 
bury it in your garden. You can collect up these little bags and send them back to Plastic Free Pantry and they will compost them in their own bin. So they will also give you store credit if you do that. That's pretty awesome. Okay, where were we? Um, so we've got fine sea salt in this Nature Flex not plastic bag uh, with a little bit of paper tape on it. Ooh. Bicarbonate of soda, or baking soda as some people call it. Again, in the Nature Flex uh, compostable packaging. I'm lucky enough to have a worm bin, so I will just put it straight in that. And then we've got white penne pasta. You might be sensing a theme here. It's 500 grams, organically produced as well, which is brilliant. There you go, penne pasta inside a brown paper bag just when you thought this channel couldn't get any more exciting. And finally, oh my gosh, that smells amazing. <laughs> Smoked paprika, which I'm a little bit obsessed with right now and I've just run out of, so I was super happy that they had this. So that's 100 grams of smoked paprika, again, in the little Nature Flex um, cellophane, shall we call it, bag. Um, and then it's got a little bit of brown paper tape on the back. There you go, that's the inside of the box. So this one definitely had a little bit more sort of packaging inside. You can definitely reuse a lot of this. And I'm pretty sure if I send it back to them, they would be more than happy to reuse it. You can actually send them your clean, dry, reusable produce bags, so like your cloth bags, um, for them to put your orders in. Um, so you need to email them and arrange that in advance. It explains it all on their website. And they also send you a voucher to cover the cost of delivery as well. So. Very cool idea. They're also doing a little discount. So if you pick up 10 pieces of litter and take a photo of it, put it on social media and tag them, and I think they've got a certain hashtag you can use as well, then you can get 10% off your order, which I think is a really great incentive and such a nice way of offering a discount. You gotta earn it. If your order is around one and a half kilograms, then the delivery cost is two pounds. If it goes above that, then there's just a flat rate of five pounds. If that's something that's perhaps a little bit expensive, a really great idea would be to buddy up with a friend and do a huge order together, and then you can split the cost of shipping between you. The website was, again, very easy to use. The delivery was very straightforward as well. I was told via text and email when my delivery time slot was gonna be, and it was very prompt again. All three services have been extremely efficient and easy to use. So there you go, guys. That's how I got on with three online zero waste grocery shops. If you live somewhere where you have no access to anything in bulk, then this would be a great option. And I think just by swapping out maybe like two or three items that you usually buy packaged in plastic and instead buy them without plastic, then that can dramatically reduce the amount of plastic that we're sending to landfill or the incinerator or the ocean. So if you've tried any zero waste online uh, grocery services or product refills that you've been really impressed with and would recommend, please put them in the comments section. I think it's really exciting to see more and more businesses like this cropping up and long may it continue. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.